is done. It is done, oh! Hey! let's do this I'm gonna answer a few questions so you guys can get to know me and so we can be friends forever alright guys so let me not take time let's get it my name is Benita Danielle Davazi um, Benita means beautiful from what I know I'm not too sure but it means beautiful. Danielle means God is my judge. Um, named after my dad, whose name is Daniel. And Mdavazi is Tsonga. So the name is in Tsonga. And it means the one who makes things happen. I am 19 years old. My birthday is on the 12th of August. Note that down. Note that down. 12 August, I turned 19 years old. I am South African, born and raised. Um, and my my culture, my tribe, whatever, is Tsonga. So in South Africa, we have 11 different languages, 11 different tribes. Okay, no, 10, because English is one of those. 10. And my, um, my tribe is Tsonga. I'm Tsonga and I'm South African, but right now I'm studying in America. So, yeah. Oh, I don't like rude people. I can't stand rude people. Rude people, people who think that because they have money, they're better than everyone. People who value money over people. I can't stand that. I can't stand, okay, don't judge me, but I can't stand when people say should off, could off. Because it should have, could have, not should off. Like, it always makes me, like, cringe. Or when people are, like, typing, like, chatting, and they use am instead of I am or I am. And they're like, I'm here, I'm coming. Oh, it drives me insane. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't stand that. I can't stand that at all. I am a young Christian woman. I'm Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. I love Jesus. He's my guide. He's my life. I can do nothing without him. I'm unashamed. Um, and I always try to preach the gospel and talk about him. If you check my Instagram, you'll see that um, every black post is dedicated to Jesus, to my uh, religion and whatnot. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, I'm kind, giving, loving, caring, I'm, I'm a happy person, uh, for you to see me mad is very rare, you'll have to really have done something to make me mad, I don't generally get mad, I'm very happy, most of the time, you'll find me happy, I'm smiling, or I'm quiet, I'm quiet. Uh, sometimes I struggle saying no. Sometimes I keep relationships, friendships going because I'm afraid. Not afraid, but because I struggle to say no. I'm, I, I don't want to let people down. I don't want to be mean to people. I don't want to hurt people. So, yeah. I'm not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. Like, if you see me in the morning, I'll most likely be quiet because, honestly, mornings are just... I, just, I need time to just... You know what I mean? But I'm so hyper at night. Like, at night, I'm so hyper. Yeah. I would say... Okay, well, people say it's my eyes. People say I've got really nice eyes. So, I guess maybe that's my best feature. Um, I don't know. My non-flat stomach. I don't know. I wouldn't say I have a worse physical feature, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't, I mean, <laughs> let's move on. I 
would say these vary because they have different like subsections in terms of where I achieved. My biggest achievement in school is finishing high school um, with really good marks. Um, in terms of my adventure thus far, skydiving. Um, what else? In terms of my religion, um, I pray more. Yeah, that's a big accomplishment for me. I pray more. Yeah. Yeah. My celebrity crush. Wow, there's so many. Wow. Wow. My celebrity crush is Morris Chestnut. My dream husband, my celebrity dream husband is Common. I'm so in love with Common. Like, I'm so in love with him. Um, who else? Pretty much the men, the good men in Tyler Perry movies. Yeah, they're my men, my celebrity men crushes, pretty much. I love black love movies. I love black movies. I think they're amazing. I think they speak the truth and they... They stay, they're relevant, you know. I was watching Higher Learning earlier this year, and it was so relevant, like almost as if it was shot in this time for this time. They're very relevant. So black love movies are my favorite. In terms of which is my favorite in particular, I don't know. I mean, I really like Waiting to Exhale. I love like Tyler Perry movies. I don't know, guys. Like all of them are just is my favorite. Be kind. Be kind to other people. Be giving to other people. Be very, very giving. Because I believe that when you give, you receive. So if you want to receive something in your life, give something. Sacrifice something. Um, God sacrificed his son to receive the world. I think giving is one of the greatest things ever. Um, be true to who you are. Know who you are and be true to it. Maintain standards, develop standards, figure out who you are, be true to it, don't compromise, don't, 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 don't do anything at the expense of your soul, because all that you have in life, you know, is your soul. Um, what else? Keeping your word, and I put that together with integrity, keeping your word and being a person of integrity. I don't like people who can't keep their word, people of empty promises. Don't make a promise if you can't keep it. I don't like empty promises. So be a person who keeps your word, you're true to your word, so that people know you're reliable. Be a person of integrity. The last thing and the most important thing to me in everything is love. Love is my greatest value, my greatest belief, my greatest everything. I can believe in anything else, but love will always be number one, you know? It will always, always be number one. I can believe in any other cause, but love is always number one for me. Love yourself. Love other people. Love your God, you know. Love. Love with everything you have in you. And don't let people stop you from loving because of bad experiences, you know. Because by, by, by denying and depriving your heart and yourself of love, you deprive yourself of life. Because love is life, you know. And with that, God is love. God is love. God is life. So for me, God, love, interchangeable. God is love. So my greatest belief, my greatest value is love. Love is God. Love is life. Love is real. Yeah. If, no, I wouldn't be friends with myself. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be able to deal with myself. Like, I shout out to those who deal with me on a regular because I don't know how you do it. Well, I mean, a part of me wouldn't want to be friends with myself because I'm, I'm a lot. But at the same time, I'm super caring, I'm helpful, I'm giving, and I'm not gassing myself up, you know. But it's important to know yourself and know your good values. So, yeah, um, in that end, I would want to be friends with myself. But for the most part, I wouldn't because I'm me. Being friends with someone, me-ish, mm, no, one me is enough. Trust, yeah. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I'm celibate. So I'm waiting for marriage to have sex. I've never had sex before. Wow, wow, um, it's actually quite a few. I've been to America, I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Haiti, I've been to Mauritius, I've been to Mozambique, I've been to Australia, I've been to Cuba, I've been to the Dominican Republic. Um, 
there's so many places hey and in america i've traveled to a lot of states as well so i've traveled i've traveled quite a bit my favorite food oh my gosh wings chicken wings if you want like if, dear future husband <laughs> if you're gonna propose to me you must have wings you must have wings otherwise don't do it you must also have other things but like wings must be there my favorite food is wings um what else chocolate that count as food chocolate wings and chocolate my favorite um and meat i love meat like i really love meat i really really love meat i can like forsake everything else and stay with meat i love meat a bugatti that's my dream car like guys i don't know anything about cars but i know that car is so beautiful and i'm gonna own one i'm definitely gonna own one and i'm speaking it into existence bugatti you are mine i claim you in jesus name i'm gonna drive you i'm gonna own you and in fact i'll have even more than one if i feel like it i would say learn to give yourself credit appreciate things while you have them so when you're doing good in your life give yourself credit often when i would get good marks and everything i would always sleep on it look down on it like oh whatever 90 percent cool but the moment i get a bad mark like oh hey hey it is done it is done oh hey and congratulate yourself in life you won't always have people to congratulate you people are not always gonna be happy for you they won't always see you so learn to be your own cheerleader to congratulate your own self yeah i love jazz music jazz music is like number one i love jazz music all types of jazz is my jazz okay um otherwise i love your african music african artists i don't need a song to be in english really I just need to feel it. So I love African music. I love, um, I love a lot of music. Um, I just don't like music that has a bad message. So I don't listen to rap because for me, a lot of rap music has bad messages. Bust that pussy open for real niggas. Not going to help me in my life. So yeah, I believe music is an important thing. It's a powerful thing. And you must be careful and mindful of what you listen to because you take it in subconsciously. You take it in and you end up acting in a certain way, talking in a certain way because of what you've listened to. Because it came into your mind, you took it in, you received it. And as a result, you start to live it. So yeah, nonsense rap, especially is not my music. Nonsense rap, I mean rap that has a bad, a bad message. So yeah. I've got extra fingers. They didn't grow. They were like almost there. So if you can, there. Let's see. Let's see. And I've got it on both hands. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that. I guess they don't notice. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's it for today, guys. I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications too so you know when I post. I'll be back with more videos. And before I go, if you have any good news, comment down below because here yeah, we congratulate each other. We are kind to one another. There's a lot of bad vibes in the world, but here is a happy place. So comment down below your good news. I'll be back with more videos. Peace and love, everyone. Bye.